Hey guys, welcome back to the 80s revolution. I'm going to pretend like I'm talking to uh, more than just myself here, but uh, since I'm pretty new at this, um, I think only a couple of people have watched my videos. I'll mention them later, uh, but those couple people I did actually ask to watch my videos. So anyway, uh, you're back joining the 80s revolution for my second video. Um, going to be kind of a, uh, a Blu-ray pickup video. Um, I just recently got a Blu-ray player, believe it or not, and I'll explain uh, why that is the case. Uh, and I'm going to uh, show you some of the Blu-ray movies, or all of the Blu-ray movies actually, that I've picked up in the past couple of weeks. But first, like I said in my first video, um, all of my videos, and again I'm going to be pretending like I'm talking to somebody other than myself, all of my videos are going to be sponsored by a delicious, icy cold, refreshing adult beverage. Today's 80s revolution is brought to you by Shock Top. Twisted pretzel wheat. Guys, if you have not had Shock Top twisted pretzel wheat, uh, do yourself a favor and go find this beer. Um, it says limited edition. It was only available in the Shock Top Fall Sampler Pack that would come out around this time of year. It's about two or three years old. Um, it would come in a pack that uh, had uh, pumpkin wheats, uh, maybe three pumpkin wheat, uh, three original Shock Top Belgian wheats, uh, three apple ciders, which I can do without, and three of these bad boys. The Shock Top Twisted Pretzel Wheat. This is fantastic. When it says twisted pretzel, it isn't kidding. This is a fantastic Belgian style wheat. A darker Belgian style wheat. Um, caramely, malty, not extremely hoppy, a beautiful brown color, which you'll see in a minute. But, like I said, when it says twisted pretzel, it isn't kidding. This beer tastes like you took a sip of beer, took a handful of pretzels, chewed them all up, mashed them all together, and let them party in your oral cavity. It's that good. You get that much pretzel in this beer. It's not a, it's not a faint kind of pretzel-y aftertaste that you have to say, oh yeah, I think I sense pretzel. No, it's pretzel all throughout this swallow. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, so we're going to go ahead and crack one open now. As you can see, there's a second cap here. Uh, this is not my first twisted pretzel weed of the night. Drinking in my Guinness pint. That's for another show. Guinness is not a beer. Guinness is a Guinness. Guinness is my absolute all-time favorite beverage. Um, I absolutely love it. I drink it for breakfast. I have drinking it for breakfast. I like to drink my beer in a glass. To me, drinking out of a bottle is reserved for Bud Light, Coors Light, Michelob Light, shit light, and all the other lights that I'm not going to drink. If we're going to drink something like this, or any other beer that's not a light, we're going to pour it in a glass. Why are we going to pour it in a glass? Because I can taste it more. This beer gets the opportunity to breathe. To aerate. Look at that. Shock Top Twisted Pretzel Wheat Ale from St. Louis, Missouri. Shock Top. Like I said, it was originally part of a, a fall sampler pack uh, that's about uh, two or three years old. My wife and I would fight over all the twisted uh, pretzels. We'd get uh, one each and then uh, we'd have to fight for the third. 
um, I'd win, and then I'd drink the third. So, let's enjoy. Absolute fantastic pretzel aroma throughout this beer. In fact, I'd kind of say that the pretzel dominates the aroma. I'm not getting caramel. I'm not, you know, I'm getting a little malt, but I'm getting a lot of pretzel. I'm telling you, this this pint smells like a bag of pretzel rods. Maybe just a bag of pretzels smells the same, but to me, I'm getting a bag of pretzel rods. Maybe there's no difference. Pretzel. Honestly, explodes all over your mouth. Pretzel. I don't really want anything exploding all over my mouth. But this is allowed to. Pretzel flavor throughout this delicious, caramely, malty, Belgian wheat from Shock Top. If you like pretzels, guys... I'm not. To, this is not a beer that has a flavor attached to it that you can't find the flavor, that you have to, you know, search for the flavor. When when you talk about a coffee stout, you taste coffee. When you talk about a chocolate stout, you you taste chocolate. Some of the fruitier beers, kinds of. I, I don't really go for the gimmicky beers, the uh, pomegranate wheats and things like that. You got to kind of search around. You can taste something sweet. You can taste something fruity. But you're not sure if it's a you, you can't really identify the fruit when this says pretzel they mean pretzel fantastic okay so um we're going to continue enjoying that tonight uh we're going to do a blu ray view review tonight um like i said earlier i just started collecting blu-rays i you know being the 80s revolution doesn't necessarily mean i boycott all modern technology but i couldn't quite um wrap my head around getting a blu-ray i mean obviously i had to upgrade uh, from vhs to dvd but um to me a dvd player with a high definition television great picture um i couldn't tell the difference i'm not a uh I'm not a you know a picture expert or or you know one of these super high tech uh, people who um, who really you know can can see the difference between um, you know one super HD TV or another. So I, I thought DVD and uh, and a high definition picture were fine. But one day I was out at uh, Best Buy and uh, I was picking up something completely unrelated. And I walked over to the DVD section. I checked out some horror films that uh, Cool Duder and Wet Movie One were uh, were talking about. The uh, I think it was Shout Factory's uh, Return of the Living Dead release on Blu-ray, uh, which some Best Buys were carrying. Um, I saw that, and I uh, I got a crazy idea to go get a Blu-ray player because I wanted some of those movies. So I did. I bought a uh, Sony uh, Blu-ray player. I guess it's a uh, I guess it's a smart Blu-ray player because I'm able to uh, uh, stream Netflix. It's it's got an internal Wi-Fi, um, $79.95. Whatever, I'm happy with it. Um, so far, I haven't watched any modern uh, movies on it, so I can't really talk about the uh, amazing Blu-ray picture quality of this DVD player or of this Blu-ray player. But um, uh, maybe some of the ones that I picked up recently will be more modern, and I'll be able to see the difference. Um, but um, I've really just been replacing some of my old catalog horror movies, which I'm going to go through tonight. You will see my massive exploding, just like the pretzel explosion flavor of this shock top twisted pretzel wheat. You will see my massive and exploding Blu-ray collection of all of about 16 Blu-rays. So cool duder, wet movie one. Sinistalker, be jealous. Be very, very jealous of my Blu-ray collection. Speaking of Sinistalker uh, and Fluffy Gamer, who I wasn't speaking of, but I am now, um, you guys were the first two people that subscribed to my channel. Probably the only two people that have subscribed to my channel as of this moment. And granted, I did ask you to, but I, I also want to thank you guys 
um, two of my um, two of the, the channels that I've been watching the most in a stalker and the fluffy gamer uh, and I'll put uh, their their uh, you know links to their channels uh, below not that you haven't heard of them if you're watching me you've seen those two guys but um, you know they sent me a nice message and uh, and responded to my request to watch my channel by subscribing which is cool you could have just watched it and said this is garbage um, but you didn't you, you subscribed and thank you I appreciate it very much um, speaking of subscribers I'm going to do what everybody else does around here I'm gonna have a subscriber contest that's right so far I've got two two subscribers um, I'd like 10 okay that's my goal 10 Get me 10 subscribers. The 10th subscriber will win a prize. I have no idea what. Maybe a Blu-ray. How about a Blu-ray? Uh, my 10th subscriber will win a Blu-ray of my choice and of your choice. You tell me the genre that you like, horror, comedy. Uh, tell me the type of comedy or, you know, you, you know, the type of horror that you like. I'm going to go out and purchase you my 10th subscriber. A Blu-ray of your choice. That's the contest. I'm announcing the contest right now, tonight. One second. Okay. Um, so, bought a Blu-ray player, and I've got some Blu-rays to show you. I will show you the ones I picked up today. Um, I went to. Uh, I've been going to, um, you know, Best Buy and, and Walmart to pick up some of the cheaper, you know, five dollar or five ninety nine or seven ninety nine Blu-rays. Uh, but I've been hitting up a lot of um, pawn shops. Uh, thrift stores so far, not really um, flooded with Blu-rays, more DVDs, um, or Blu-rays they have that I'm not really interested in. Um, so I've been going to a lot of pawn shops, and this is really the place to find um, you know, used Blu-rays in great shape. They're very picky about the Blu-rays that they take. Um, if there are scratches, if they... Sorry, I'm going to burp a lot. If they, um, if they can't sell them, they're not going to take them. So... Um, you know, good quality used Blu-rays for very cheap prices. Um, one of the, uh, I mean, I'm averaging like $4 uh, a Blu-ray, which I'm thrilled with, so I'll pay that all day. So I've been hitting up some pawn shops in my area, and um, today uh, I went to a place called Mr. Deals, okay? Um, I'm in upstate New York, um, the Rochester area. So if there are any of, of, of the nobody who have been watching my channel thus far, if any of you are in Rochester, um, let me know. But uh, Mr. Deals is a uh, pawn shop that, uh, you know, specializes in, you know, has, has your regular pawn shop fare, but also specializes in um, video games, Nintendo um, and, and, you know, Super Nintendo and any... Uh, uh, Nintendo 64, PlayStation, all, all kinds of video games, um, and they have a massive amount of Blu-rays, and they're all individually priced, but they're all in the $2.99, $3.99, $4.99 range. So I picked up um, six today from Mr. Deals in Henrietta, New York. Check them out if you're in Henrietta, New York. All none of you who are watching me right now. Uh, check them out in Henrietta, New York, Mr. Deals. And uh, six DVDs came to $21.60. That's not bad. That's, uh, you know, a little, you know, three bucks, three fifty a DVD. Um, I'm happy with that. So here's what I got. I'll break these down into uh, to genre. Um, horror. I got Shudder. Uh, Enjoyed this a lot. Enjoyed both. I, I have the uh, both of these on DVD, so those will both get um, replaced. Uh, this is the American version of Shudder um, with um, Joshua Jackson from Dawson's Creek. And um, I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, at Rachel Taylor plays his uh, wife. Um, very good movie. Japanese version, of course, was better. But this is a pretty good film. I liked it, a good horror movie. Um, the, uh, photography, um, they're on a photography assignment. 
Uh, he starts taking some pictures. He starts noticing some ghostly images in his photos, but those ghostly images are not just in the photo. Um, where are they? Well, you'll have to see and shudder. Blu-ray number one today. Blu-ray number two, Insidious Chapter 3, which I was happy to find. Um, this was only $2.99. Why was it $2.99? Because it didn't have a price tag on it. And when I brought it up to the counter, they said, I'll give it to you for three bucks. And I said, great. So Insidious 3 on Blu-ray, I have not seen. I haven't seen it. Seen Insidious 1, 2, haven't seen 3. I'll be watching 3 in about a half hour. Uh, this comes with a slipcover. But you know what? I don't like slipcovers. I don't like the way they look on my shelf if not every one of my Blu-rays has a slipcover, which they don't. So, anybody wants a slipcover? Are you? Are there any slipcover aficionados out there who absolutely must have a slipcover with every one of their DVDs? Does anybody out there have Insidious 3 without a slipcover? Well, if you do have Insidious 3 without a slipcover and you'd like the slipcover, let me know. Subscribe to my channel and let me know. I'll send this off to you free of charge. I'll pay for shipping. Slipcover available, not in the best shape. You can check it out for yourself. It's got some crinkles and wrinkles. No stickers on it though, but cheers if you want it. Let me know. Insidious 3 slipcover, all yours for free. Next movie I got today from the uh, Mr. Deal's Pawn Shop. Paranormal Activity 2. I love these movies. I absolutely love them. I know they're simple. I know they're jump scares. I know they're cheesy. I know they're predictable. I know the you know the this uh, franchise has gotten old, but I still love these movies. I love the um, I don't know. I work myself up into them, and I uh, and I legitimately get freaked out by these movies. I like them. I know some people don't. I know some people do. Um, I like them. I still think they're going strong. If another one comes out, I'll watch that one, and I think I'll be scared, too. I like it. Paranormal Activity 2. Uh, this is a, um, uh, obviously outside of the horror genre, but, you know, what can you say about Casablanca on Blu-ray? Um, best movie of all time? I don't know. Uh, lots and lots of uh, movie ranking list people rank this as the best movie of all time or within the top three. I love it. Um, is it the best movie of all time? I don't know. For what? For sentimental value? For just because it's Casablanca and you're supposed to say it's the best movie of all time? Um, it's a good movie. It's a great movie. Um, lots of lots of you know obviously amazingly memorable scenes in Casablanca um, lots of taglines and and um, phrases that have been said decade by decade came from this movie um, we'll always have Paris uh, come up and see me sometime put your not come up and see me sometime that's a different movie put your uh, you know you know how to whistle uh, forget it I don't know Casablanca on Blu-ray Jerry Maguire, one of my top 10 movies of all time. That's an idea for another show. Has that ever been done before? Has anybody ever done top 10 movies? I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for the first time. I'm going to do a top 10 movie review coming up. But this is in my top 10 movies. I love this movie. I absolutely love it. I'm a cheese ball. This is a super cheesy, romantic, over-the-top silly movie. I love the soundtrack. I love that Bruce Springsteen Secret Garden song. Renee Zellweger. Tom Cruise is awesome. Cuba Gooding Jr. Fantastic. I really like um, uh, Bonnie Hunt in this movie. I, I think that she plays a pretty awesome role as a snarky sister um, of Renee Zellweger. She's fantastic. I love her. Um, love this movie. Love it all day. I'll watch it all the time. Enough said, right? Goonies on Blu-ray. Don't have to say anything about that. So that was um, today's pickups from Mr. Deal's Pawn Shop in Henrietta, New York. $21.60 for six Blu-rays. I'm good with that. Very good with that.
Um, went out to grab uh, some tasty beverages tonight. Stopped at a Topps grocery store in Rochester. Um, got uh, went through their bargain bin of Blu-rays. Just picked up Say Anything. You know, legendary classic '80s uh, cheese ball romantic Cameron Crowe comedy. Uh, John Cusack, Ione or Ione Sky. Um, boy meets girl story you know nerd meets girl gets girl gets hot girl that he shouldn't get her dad stands in the way he stands outside in a trench coat with a boom box wins her over great movie all right quickly uh, I'll go through the rest of my collection along the same lines as say anything is Bueller 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 um, what else do I have to say about Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Fantastic movie. Great 80s movie. Great put it in when you just want to lay around on the couch and watch a movie kind of movie. More horror. Let's do horror. Let's go back to horror. I've got um, Paranormal Activity 4. Paranormal Activity 3. I said a few minutes ago I love these movies. They don't get old for me. Haven't seen the marked ones. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to pick it up. Um, but I haven't watched it yet. If you uh, have any opinions on the marked ones, if it's complete garbage, if I shouldn't watch it, if I should skip it, let me know. I won't. I'll get it and watch it. But I love these movies. I love the Paranormal Activity movies. Three and four, just as good. Uh, four, four I don't love to death, um, but does the job. So three and four. Um, oh, yeah, Paranormal Activity Part 1. Um, where it all started. This movie still freaks me out when uh, when that girlfriend, um, who's you know super common girl next door hot, um, stands by the bed like the, like the uh, like this scene here in the back. You know when she stands by the bed for like six hours, so the time lapse goes and she just stands there staring at the guy. Uh, freaks me out every time. Um, here's the thing that started my Blu-ray adventure. Uh, I was in Best Buy, saw this for $6.99 in the Best Buy Halloween section, picked it up. Love this. Love this. This, this is a movie that you can watch probably once every six months and not get tired of this movie. It's fantastic. Return of the Living Dead. Absolutely wonderful um, movie. I love this movie uh, all day. Um, unfriended. I liked it. I watched it on Netflix. I liked it. Um, you know, yeah, I liked it. A couple more real quick. I got a uh, It Follows Steelbook, my one and only Steelbook. I liked this movie a lot, too. Um, I, I was kind of put off by the whole have sex to pass on the, uh, the you know, the, the issue or the haunting, whatever. Um, I was kind of turned off by that. I thought it was, you know, a little bit uh, stupid. Um, but there's not any sex in the movie. And and so you don't see all these, you know, ridiculously over-the-top horny teenagers having sex. It's, it's implied, um, except for the opening scene. But uh, this is pretty cool. And, and I did, you know, I'm sure you guys know, but it, um, I did some reading about this, and, and apparently uh, there's a lot of opinions on what it is. Uh, we're dealing with teen sexuality, so it could possibly be STD. Don't know. Maybe herpes. Could be gonorrhea. Not sure entirely. To me, the greatest horror franchise of all time, with the second greatest horror franchise of all time, I love Friday the 13th. We'll get into that when I talk about my favorite horror movies or my f favorite horror uh, franchises. Uh, Friday the 13th is the greatest horror series ever. Jason Voorhees is the greatest horror character of all time. Got Freddy vs. Jason, which I loved. Absolutely loved it. And Friday the 13th, part one. Um, another, I don't know, is it underrated? I'm not sure. I love the Final Destination series. Love them. It's the same concept for every single movie, and there's six of them, but I love it. I absolutely love the Final Destination movies. I've got Final Destination 5 and THE Final Destination, which I believe is part six, but I love these Final Destination movies. They're fun. Um, 
I actually like the actors. I like the characters. I'm not really too annoyed by anybody. Um, love those. Uh, what can you say? It's Evil Dead. Um, it's a... Uh, it's an icon. Puppet Master. Guess what? Never seen it. I've never seen Puppet Master. I'm gonna watch it. Gonna enjoy it. Um, Blair Witch. I don't mind it. I like it. Um, stop being so uh, judgmental of this movie. It's fun. It scares me, kind of. Um, I can watch it again. I like it. My Bloody Valentine 3D. Good movie. Uh... Rambo and Bruce Willis, Die Hard, classic movie. Rambo, even more classic, equally as classic, maybe. That is my Blu-ray collection um, as it stands right now. Not a whole lot, but uh, I'm on my way. And as uh, the pace that I'm on, I'm probably getting like 10 movies a week. So every single one that I get, I will show you. Um, we'll talk about it a little bit. I'll do some top 10 lists soon. We're enjoying Shock Top Twisted Pretzel Wheat. An absolutely fantastic beverage. If you enjoyed what you saw tonight, do me a favor and subscribe. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I'm looking forward to doing more. Um, I'll take you around my room next time, maybe show you... Um, some board games or some action figures uh, maybe go through my nintendo collection but um again special thanks to uh uh stalker and the fluffy gamer for subscribing to yours truly the 80s revolution thanks for joining me tonight thanks for sitting through my overwhelming blu-ray collection thanks for enjoying a beer with me the 80s revolution is here to stay with your help of course see you next time on the 80s revolution. Take care.